Welcome to Reward AFLSI ZW Laser Speckle Imaging System Operation Video. This video consists of two parts. 1. Demonstration of Data Acquisition. 2. Demonstration of Data Analysis. After the installation of the device, plug in the dongle, switch on the device host and computer host, the remaining operations are carried out in the computer software. There are two software icons on the desktop, one for data acquisition and one for data analysis. Double click the data acquisition icon to open the software. After the instrument self test is completed, it will automatically enter the main interface of the software. The functional area of the software is shown in the figure. Functions in the menu bar can be found in the shortcut icon bar. The mouse on the icon will indicate the function. Click on the help to view the user's manual. Language settings, you can switch Chinese and English. Version query, to check the software version information. Next, we will demonstrate the operation of the software by observing cerebral blood flow as an example. Before data acquisition, adjust the angle of the main unit. Make sure the main unit is vertical to the desktop in both front and side view. Because the imaging laser is illuminated from one side at an angle, as shown in the figure, when observing cerebral blood flow, the longitudinal axis of the animal's body is parallel to the main unit. To ensure uniform laser intensity in the left and right brain halves, it is recommended that the animal's head be fixed on the adapter to minimize shaking. Click on Settings, System Settings, in Camera Parameters. Click to turn on the indicator laser. Move the target area to the center of the view, the green cross. Adjust the height of the main unit up and down until the target area is in the middle of the two indicating lasers. Zoom to the appropriate magnification and then fine-tune the target area to the center if it is off-center. Focus Mode Default Mode 1, click Auto Focus. If the working distance is higher than 14 cm, keep using Mode 1, if it is lower than 14 cm. Select Mode 2 and refocus. Tick Gain Auto, Tick Intensity Display. Select Resolution as desired. Select Full Field of View or One Quarter Field of View. View can be rotated 180 degrees in the image settings. There are three choices of processing modes. The first two are spatial algorithms, which allow you to set spatial, filtering constants. And the third is a temporal algorithm, which allows you to set temporal, filtering constants. After selecting the spatial algorithm, set the spatial filtering constant and set the frame rate. There are three recording modes to choose, free running, duration time and number of images. If duration time is selected, the duration should be set to an integer multiple of the interval time. In this demonstration, the recording mode is selected to free run. There are four ways to capture the physical images, at the beginning of the acquisition, at the end of the acquisition, at intervals and manually. 
file caching, we can modify the cache path, generally default settings. All parameters are set. Click to confirm. Click to start recording. Other views can be selected for viewing, up to four views. Click on Settings, Palette Settings. There are three choices of color palette to adjust the display effect of Flux image. And the third one is usually chosen. The range can be adjusted by default, automatically, or manually. There are two choices of gray image, switch to view the display effect. Intensity image range can be adjusted manually or by default, or by auto adjustment. If there is no color image, collect one manually. Color image can be manually captured at any time. In the palette, you can adjust the brightness and contrast of the color image. Normally, default value can be used. Perfusion restrict and intensity images with color label can be ticked by default. Grid lines are available in different sizes to provide a reference line for repetitive positioning. Image zoom, zoom in on the image in any one view. The following operations can be performed on the enlarged image. Zooming in and out, drawing our eyes, dimensioning, and drawing pipe diameters and angles. Different RIs and pipe diameters are distinguished by different colors, and the curve graph colors correspond to them. If the signal-to-noise ratio of the image is poor, dip a cotton swab in saline and apply it evenly to the surface of the observation area to improve the signal-to-noise ratio of the image. Zoom in on any image. You can measure vessel length or perform other operations. When plotting vessel diameters, the length of the line segment should exceed the vessel diameter. The value of the vessel angle can be seen on the view. Data acquisition is now complete. For long periods of use or if you notice significant anomalies in the data, the instrument should be calibrated. Click on Setup, check calibration and follow the prompts to confirm each step of the process. Note that the height of the main unit should be adjusted so that the two indicating lasers meet at the origin of the center of the calibration box and the positions of the static standard block and the dynamic standard block should be aligned with the positioning line. After confirmation, click OK. If the measured value is within the reference range, the result shows pass. If not, it shows fail. If all check items are pass, the calibration check is indicated as successful. If one of the items fails, the calibration check fails. Click Recalibrate. Next, to demonstrate the data analysis operation, open the desktop analysis software. Click on the file to import the data. The RIs plotted during data acquisition are imported together. 
and the curved graphs are displayed on the right side, you can draw new RIs, vessel diameters, vessel angles, etc. You can copy, delete, undo, export, import the RIs, etc. RIs can be selected for delete, or specific types can be deleted by clicking on the delete icon. Once the ROI is plotted, you can click on the recalculate icon, or double click on any of the view blanks, and the data will be recalculated. It is available to zoom in on the image for ROI plotting and other operations. Grid line specifications can also be modified. The parameters of the palette are set at the time of acquisition and can be adjusted again to change the presentation of the view without changing the data. Drag the progress bar to a point in time to save five views of the current point in time. The function icon to the right of the graph, TOI, time of interest, click on it and hold down the left mouse button to select the time of interest in the graph. TOI settings allows to set the start and end time of TOIs precisely and to add or delete TOIs. TOI data allows to view data related to perfusion volume. and data can be exported. Curved data can be saved in three formats, data in text format, data in table format, data in image format. Display the current frame, when clicked, a dotted line will appear on the graph and the current frame and time point will be displayed on the top. You can drag the dotted line to a frame to add an event marker, and you can modify the name of the marker. Reference line setting, which allows you to set the reference line for the perfusion volume. Switch to frames, click to switch the timeline to frames lines. The lower icons function the same as the upper ones, click on the first icon to hide the graph. And the exported data are for vascular trails. Click on the montage display to view the captured images, including flux images and grey images. The ROIs can be displayed or hidden. One to four pictures can be selected for comparison. Pictures can be saved or deleted. Click on the video playback. You can select the playback speed and at which to save the video. For more details and instructions, please refer to the manual that is included with the instrument. Thank you for watching.